Now, let's see. PC is, um, we could look into adding the additional bed over here. We actually never fill this up. It just looks a little funny at the moment. So those of you with the OCD, that's probably um, got some issues with that. Clear the notification log. Our day has gone pretty well. Um, it's going to end at any minute now, on the shift at least. What do you have over here? Uh, flashing symptoms, please kind of start figuring that out for us. Find some of these. Okay, still not receiving the flashing symptom just yet. Ear examination. Not figuring it out just yet. Let's quickly have a look. What is the bad stuff that we've got over here? Mm, blood test, maybe. Any of these bad? Unconsciousness. I don't think that's a symptom, is it? We would have known it, right? Coma. We would have known these things. Okay, well, just keep going through this stuff and let's try and find whatever is flashing over here. That's the end of the day, I believe. Rooms with critical workload, it's been three, so we do need to figure out um, what that was, and I'm pretty sure it's radiology. Yeah, critical workload three in radiology. Let's quickly see what they are, so we can see if we need to maybe, uh, we don't have the money to build another one. This is the issue, right? They, they kind of give us that reminder at the point when we don't have the money, and I should remember that I still need to pay back a bit of a loan. Okay, so now let's have a look, quick look over here and see what we can figure out in terms of this. So radiology, critical workload in um, in the um, sonography unit, in both of them actually, we've got two sonography units and they both have a critical workload. Then we also have critical workload in the MRI. Whether I'm interested in building another, is that, that is, yeah, that's MRI, right? Yeah, in the MRI. Um, whether I'm interested in building another MRI, I'm not too sure, just yet, but wow, that's that's pretty insane. And angiography is upstairs here, and that's pretty decent. Uh, actually, what is this? Oh, this is another x-ray upstairs with orthopedics, and then there's another, uh, then there's angiography upstairs with um with uh, here with the cardiology department. Okay, so that's, it's all pretty good actually. Uh, it's just maybe get more of this. And uh, that I think should probably be built upstairs over here. Or, or alternatively, do we have a, do we add a, add a, do we have a sonography? Is it, it's not sonography, is it? It's the, um, come on, let's have a look. Um, in hospitalization over here, let's close this one out. It's called cardiography unit. Yes, yeah, not sonography. Should we build this as a cardiography unit over here? Hang on, let's have a look. Oh, there is one. No, no, there isn't one. So that's the thing. Maybe we need a cardiography unit upstairs here also. So I'm kind of leaning towards, there's so many things happening over here. I'm kind of leaning towards maybe moving neurology upstairs to, to, um, to kind of share the floor with, uh, with with pathology over here. But there's so many different kind of ways to kind of do this. So let's see how, how we go. But now we don't have money at the moment. <laughs> of course, cardiography department needs cardio unit. Thanks, chat. Makes me feel so good. Wow, look at all the stuff. <laughs> Look at them in their multicolored uniforms. Okay, are we hospitalized? Oh, we still have a hidden symptom over here that needs to be... Oh, actually, but now we should be able to figure it out though, right? What is the additional bad symptom that we've got over here? We need to do an echo. Do an echo. Please do an echo. So we can try and figure that out. That would be the plan. Here comes some more stuff. Uh, flashing symptoms. I, I get nightmares about flashing symptoms. Oh, interesting stuff over here. Oh, being being moved straight away. Let's just have a look. What what is the the bad stuff over there? Pulmonary artery blockage. There's so many bad stuff that you can have. This this one is going to be tough. This one's going to be tough. You really need to make sure that you you double check some of our other stuff there. Okay. 
I need this to get money. We need some money. If we can treat 100 patients a day, we can get another 100,000 grand, but we're nowhere near that number. And to be honest, where is our uh, prestige at at the moment? Today we're at 100, so tomorrow we'll be a little bit better off. We'll get, uh, we'll get some, some better payments from insurance. But things are looking a little bit more calm. Let's quickly run through, and we've been running through these statistics a fair bit, but let's quickly run through what our operating tables look like. So if we go there, and then we go to ICU, doesn't have that, and then general is done, internal is done, orthopedics is done, cardiology is done, neurology doesn't have it. So no one needs to go for surgery at the moment. Okay, I keep pressing that button. What about expanding the cardiology floor? Seems you have a lot of flashing symptoms associated with cardio patients. Yes, I think that is, the, that is actually the plan. So one of the things that I'm considering, while the plan was that cardiology will be shared with neurology, I am, I am considering actually moving, cardi um, moving neurology upstairs to make this the neurology department and then we'll take the entire floor here for cardiology and maybe a little bit of, uh, of ICU actually. And now that I've got this going on over here, I'm just seeing that there's a, a bit of an issue over here. Cardiology probably needs tons more janitors. Oh my goodness, look at this. No janitors, almost no janitors. Um, so let's pay to see if we've got, okay, yeah, absolutely. Get another one, please. Uh, that's okay, two, two in the day. Get some more at night. Yeah, you're, I'm happy with you, and yeah, you should be fine also. Let's just get some additional janitors going. Uh, that's going to be important for us to get the, keep these floors clean. Got to keep the floors clean. Yeah, so we don't have the money at the moment, but I think that's the idea. I think the, I initially wanted to do neurology in here, but I just don't think it's worth it. I think we should really look at, um, at moving neurology upstairs, and then we expand cardiology a little bit more over here. Seems like we could use a lot more stuff here. Renovation of a nearby hospital causes 30% more patients to come. That's not bad. That is not bad at all. Lots of patients hanging out over here. This is... This is genital surgery, right? Hmm. It's a pretty big ward for genital surgery, that, the genital ward there. It's a pretty big one. Hmm. I'm kind of wondering whether we put ICU in there instead. Because we've got, we seem to need a lot more ICU beds here. So if we put ICU in there, that might be, be helpful. Your computer is a bit laggy um, while you're playing or while you're watching the stream. Um, on my end, it seems to be fine. Seems to be fine on my end. The stream. Okay, things are quiet. Right? Too quiet, maybe. So we did, I think we did manage to get our prestige sorted. Yes, so our insurance payments will go up today. While you're watching the stream, you might hit 100 patients uh, for you are expecting 97. Oh, absolutely. Okay, that's good. Actually, so this day could be really good for us. This day could be really good for us, and I'm I'm wondering whether we need to start looking at doing the um, whether we need to start looking at doing the epidemic. How is internal medicine? Internal medicine, I think, is is kind of okay, right? Oh no, no, natural disaster. Sorry, natural disaster. What we're after? Good idea. Switch the wards in general surgery. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. I think. Yeah, I don't know. For now, look, there's a lot. I need a lot of money to move, um, to, to, to kind of move um, ICU around because any little thing needs so much more attention here. Okay, that's fine. I actually sorted out already over there, so that'll be transported to the right room. And I'm hoping we'll have a lot of people being discharged at around, at around 8 a.m. this morning. And then I think we'll try and take on a natural disaster in the hope that we can actually hit that 100 patients. That would be really good because we've got a lot of loans that we need to pay off here. We've got like 80,000 in loans that I would really love to get rid of so that we can just kind of clear the air a little bit with that.
Okay. Now. Quiet, actually. Too quiet. I hate it when it's this quiet. And the patient coming in. Let's have a look. That seems to be some kind of arm, broken arm thing going on over here. So probably just need to do a physical and then let's uh, sort out an upper x-ray if you don't still don't know. We're sorting out the hemorrhage, so that should be fine. You're going to figure it out? Not quite, so do the x-ray, that's fine. Another ambulance coming in. Our TC does really well. I do like, I do like how quickly we can move people through TC. Figure out what this is. I don't like the flashing symptom here. How long does it take to figure it out? But no, I'm playing a little slower than I used to. Um, improperly level up senior janitor and now there's some little specialization available. That's never the case. You can never uh, get, get these guys to have some, some kind of specialization. I don't know why the message keeps saying that. <clears throat> yeah, and even more people coming in. Excellent, going up straight into hospitalization. Still figuring this out. I'm still worried about that uh, about that uh, flashing symptom there. Okay, we're closer and closing down into uh, closing in on 8 a.m. I do want to see how many people actually get discharged. There's a lot of people that could, well, not that many really. There are a few people that could get discharged. Oh yeah, no, especially this floor. This floor can discharge quite a lot of people. Uh, we had no critical workloads during night. That is absolutely awesome. I'm so glad about that. 8 a.m. Then we'll see about discharging over here. No, they, I, 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 know, I don't, I don't live near a main road. I do get sirens out here a fair, a fair bit, but, um, but there hasn't been one tonight. <laughs> a siren from the this is from pathology department. That was the last stream, doc. That was the last stream. <laughs> okay, eight a.m. A few people are being discharged. Actually, a fair bit, but it's not actually given us, um, given us the money that we need. Nurses are complaining that there are not enough. Stretches for all patients that need transport at cardiology. Really? Well, there's a lot of patients in cardiology, so I do get it. This is cardiology over here, and you're missing stretches. Well, what I'll do is I'll just see about plopping in a couple of stretches over here. Maybe that's going to be, be what you need. Let's, uh, let's see if we can grab uh, another stretcher or two. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's slot one over there just just for now. One stretcher per nurse. Yeah, that that sounds sounds good. Sounds like a good a good way of, of looking at it. And since we just added a ton more, we probably need a little bit more. Our money situation is now nah, okay. It's not uh, it's not brilliant, but it's kind of okay. So let's I'll just add another stretcher around here. We'll try and deal deal with that as best we can. I'm thinking they're not considering these because they're probably zoned as neurology over there. Okay, so with that in mind, oh, we're up to 10,000, which is not bad. With that in mind, I think what we'll go and do is we will go and run the uh, one of the natural disaster events. Okay, significant floods have left many people without access to electricity and supplies as well as causing a number of casualties. Hospitals should prepare for a large number of various illnesses and the influx of wounded patients. Okay, we can generally deal with wounded patients um, and internal medicine is kind of okay. Ooh, I, yeah, wounded patients, there we go. Bring them in. Our TC generally does a pretty decent job of moving people through fairly quickly. No flashing symptoms over here, so that should be okay. There's just like six additional patients over here. It's 9.30 and we're already through 35 patients, so that's awesome. I like that. I'm hoping these additional patients will actually allow us to get that 100 patients today. TC is getting pretty full now. 
Are, are some of these going to be able to move out? Let's just have a quick look at what's going on here. You are being transported to hospitalization. That's excellent. Uh, many, many, many symptoms that's potentially flashing down here. Where are you going? Transported to examination. X-ray? Yeah, okay, X-ray. Upstairs probably, right? Oh no, over here. More ambulance bringing in more people. That's a liver contusion. We can move you to hospitalization straight away. Thank you. Still waiting on X-ray over here. Patient is collapsing. Uh, is that a new patient? Yeah, it is a new patient. It's probably not been brought in. That is actually waiting for the doctor. The De uh, dehydration. So let's get you um, rehydrated as soon as we can. We could put you straight into regular hospitalization maybe. Should we? Should we try that? Should we try that or are you going to go straight into... Yeah, I'm not sure that's going to work. I am not sure that's going to work. I'm going to try it, but I'm not sure that's going to work. I think you might be coming down to TC, aren't you? Yeah, TC hospitalization. So that's what happened over there. So this doesn't seem to be other flashing symptoms. We'll just get you rehydrated and then you should be okay. How much time do we have? Oh, like 17, 18 minutes over there. So that's okay. A natural disaster, white way to finish the stream. Uh, okay, we have actually have the money. So what I can do is I can now add the um, the additional bed over here. It's an operating table at 5,000. So it goes in around this way. Let's just flip ourselves around. Because what I do think is we'll probably need to have to move some of that equipment. So we'll do that. Then I'm going to... That's okay. That, this I'm going to go and move to the back over here. That's going to be better. Um, I'll move you over that way so I can get this guy moved over here also. Uh, yeah, that's okay. That can stay over there. That's fine. And then we just need an anesthesia station. No. Oh, it's the wrong way around. Okay, before we do that then, let's just flip this thing around. So we can get the anesthesia station on the right spot. Um, is that the right color? I believe all of that is fine. And we do need also a bit of a, a light on the topic over there. That's, wow, that's pretty expensive a TC bed. Um, can I figure out? Okay, that's what I'm after. I'm after this light. Um, and it's red color is fine. Um, how do I... And you just, uh, yeah, there we go. So that should be fine. So now we've actually got, um, that TC should now be pretty good. And I believe we have enough doctors. We don't have a, a, a doctor for each bed, a whiteboard too. <laughs> why, why, what do we need the whiteboard for? TC is actually doing pretty good. We figured out what's wrong over here. Um, so that should be fine. More patients coming in over here. Oh, straight away. Excellent. That's really good. That's really good. One of our patients have been cured already. Excellent. That guy has been uh, training for quite a while now. Let's uh, just quickly make sure that he continues his training. Getting really good at general medicine, to be honest. Who, who actually does general medicine? Is it just the ER doctors? Yeah, ER doctors seem to be general medicine. Um, and then let's just go check general surgery doctors. Oh, oh, they've got general medicine too. They just need to have a spe specialization. Pretty good. What? Whiteboard makes the differential diagnosis quicker? <laughs> no. Really? Okay, well then whiteboard it is. I thought it's just a, an aesthetic. Let's get a let's get a whiteboard up there then. Do your differential diagnosis like quick, 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 quick. That's amazing. I never knew that. Some people say that. Mm. I wonder, is there any stats like that? Let's have a quick look. Can we, if we kind of click on this, right, and I go to the whiteboard over here. Whiteboard is used during differential diagnosis to help doctors process the information more efficiently. Okay, I believe you might be right then. 
So I should be actually be reading all of these things. Contains special surgical clothes and suits. It doesn't actually do anything. What has this done? A decoration. <laughs> okay, great. Mobile workstation provides mobile workspace for doctors in certain rooms. USG, ultrasound equipment, blah, 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 blah. Okay, well, excellent. You learn something new every day. Thanks, Doc. That's why I like having the doctor in the stream. It really helps us out. Okay, we're about to finish this off. What I'll do is I'm just going to wait until we clear out our, uh, our emergency over here, and then we'll move over to academia. I just want us to finish this thing off. There's still a bit of time left, but I'm hoping we can we can kind of do the curing. Whoa, what's going on over here? How many, how many do we have to deal with? Okay, so we might uh, might do an extra 10 minutes or so over here, I think. I think that's what's going to be required. Defib. We need to figure out what's going on over here. Three hours from reception, actually. We need to figure out um, whether, what's going on with these symptoms. Okay, examination is now starting to happen here, which is good. A question for you with regards to reception. Do, um, does any of you do reception for every department or do you only do reception for emergency? Oh, Scotty, thank you for, uh, thank you for, um, for, for dropping by. Always good to have you here. Have a good night. Okay, TC is empty. That's great. We've got through these a fair bit. Let's quickly start looking at what's going on over here. Who's not been diagnosed? So Rachel, what's going on with you? Why have you not been diagnosed? You should really be diagnosed. We know what's wrong with you. Get this, get yourself a numbing ointment. Um, plus, uh, plus we'll just get you some of the other stuff too, right? Ice wrap, recommendations, those kind of things. Patient is collapsing over here. Bandage, maybe that should be fine. We'll get that sorted out. Thank you. Um, what's going on over here? Patient is collapsing. That needs oxygen therapy, huh? So I'm assuming TC hospitalization and then into oxygen therapy. And we need to figure out your flashing symptoms. More people arriving at TC. What's going on with you, James? Do we know? Oh, you're actually the one that's collapsing. We should hopefully deal with you soon. Mary over here, you have a leg contusion. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, be sure to give you your numbing ointment. Um, plus whatever else we can uh, potentially give you. We're not TC hospitalizing you just yet. Should be fine. Treated straight away. Excellent. Uh, Mary Martin. Ooh, we're still not quite sure what's wrong with you, uh, are we? PCR testing is underway, so that should be fine. Uh, okay, we've got still got a few people waiting though. One of the patients is collapsing, staff will do their best. I'm a little worried about this one because if he dies, we're going to be in trouble. So we need to figure this thing out soon. So we've got respiratory failure. Okay, so we'll put him on a ventilator, TC hospitalization, and then we really need to start um, examining, examining this guy. Please deal with him very, very quickly. Oxygen therapy is underway, but we also need the ventilator to go on. Where are my staff? Okay, ventilator is on. A clinic patient is about to leave. Why is that? Is this uh, guy on our list here? Let's just have a quick look before uh, before that guy um, gives us a problem. Daniel Young. He's not on our list, so we should be okay. Uh, but I do. I would have liked to um, actually get him get him interviewed. Can you? Can you? Can we see? Are we short of doctors? Potentially, we're short of doctors over here. Should I get? Um, Where's our other guy, our training guy? Should I get him to stop training and actually go to go to work? Maybe. Okay, let's uh, stop that and see if we can if we can get him to come and help out. This a clinic patient is about to leave. Michael Davis. Let's just have a look. Michael Michael Davis is not on here. Not that I know what I'm going to do. I don't want any of these to leave because we do want to get to our hundred patients. Oh, we're up to forty thousand. What I'll do is let's uh, let's pay back one of these at least. Um, he's about to leave. Okay, okay. so I'm, I'm getting another doctor to come in, guys. I'm getting another doctor to come and help out. I know. I'm no, I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry. I should probably group a bunch together using a minimum room size. 
Um, receptionist to help to discover flashing symptoms, prevent unnecessary collapses. Um, in all departments, okay. I know, I don't want you to leave. I, uh, come on, we've got, we've got vending machines and all kinds of stuff. Where's my other doctor? That's not great. I don't want you to leave. We really should have enough doctors to deal with this. Come on, buddy. Finish your training. Can you please come and work um, for a change? I've stopped the training, right? So please come and come and come and work here. I believe you are assigned here. So let's just have a look at that. Ever so quickly over here. You are assigned there. So you should really come out and, and help us. And it's almost at the end of the day now also, which is a little bit problematic. Okay, who else? Let's quickly have a look at this list one more time. I know, I'm, it's really, it's terrible. It's terrible. Have we figured this out? Yes, yes, I know, I know. I should have figured this out sooner. Patricia, you could be on our list, right? Yeah, you in fact are on our list. And you are waiting, what exactly? You're collapsing. So let's just have a look at what's going on over here. So you need some oxygen therapy that's not been assigned to you. And you've also got some flashing symptoms. Which is probably bad. Irregular heartbeat is probably what it is. Yeah. Irregular heartbeat. So how are we going to deal with that? That's the ECG. So can we please be sure to run an ECG? Oh, we've already run an ECG. So what else could it be? Any of these things? None of these seem to be bad symptoms. Or really, really bad symptoms. Hmm. That's interesting. Unless we've misdiagnosed you, which I really honestly hope is not the case. I honestly hope that's not the case. Anyway, we'll do what we can. How far are we with this? I have no idea because we don't see all of them. There's like five more patients that needs to be treated. This guy over here, can we please get you treated? Oxygen. Oh, you need oxygen therapy, buddy. And you need beta blockers. And you're sitting in a waiting room. Can we just get you hospitalized straight away, please? Can we get you regular hospitalization? Um, and then I would very much like to figure out what your final symptoms are over here. We already know you have a irregular heartbeat. So what else do we have here that's really problematic? Nothing. It's the same issue, really. It's the same issue. So there's some stuff here that's pro that's causing me to worry. Oxygen therapy, please. So once you're in there, can you please get some oxygen therapy sorted out? And then hopefully we can get you, we'll get some, uh, some other, we'll do whatever we can. But I would like you to be hospitalized straight away. I know, I'm sorry. Where is this guy? Can this guy please come and help now? Another monitor's patient is collapsing. Oh, and this is the dangerous one, isn't it? So this is Frank Williams. Frank Williams is not on the list here. So I know we need to treat everybody um, equally well. Don't we? Septic shock. Have you been... Are you waiting for surgery? Hmm. So you probably need... Okay, and the microbial is underway. Uh, we could do that one, right? But we already know this symptom? No, we do not. But that is the dangerous one, right? So as, as, as soon as you get, as, as long as you get your abdominal surgery, that should be fine. Okay, let's hope. Let's hope. We're dealing with hope at the moment. More I am doctors? Mm, let's have a look. Um, oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, there's no surgery in IM, so we don't need additional, but yeah, maybe, and we're going to go into night shift now. Let's fill up, uh, let's fill up IM. Uh, let's fill up IM while we're, while we're at it. Uh, that's a pretty good one for the evening. We'll get this guy for the day, or this, uh, this lady, Jennifer, for the day, and then... Oh, that was an evening one. We'll get that evening slot there filled up as well. And then we'll get one more day one. There we go. So tons of doctors and I am. Oh, and then obviously we probably need nurses too. Uh, what did I do? What did I just do? Wrong buttons everywhere. Okay, there we go. So let's uh, let's just quickly have a look. We're in I am at the moment. So 
Yeah, we probably need another set of nurses as well in here. Hmm. Hmm. What can we do? I am clinic? Oh, yeah, true. How many? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, we've got a few people hanging out over here. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. I am clinic. Let's do I am clinic. I am prefab internal medicine office. Like so. There we go. And we'll just get a daytime doctor for this one. Daytime doctor, please. Uh, advanced diagnostics is what I'm after. That's pretty good there. Anything else here? I think this one should be fine. Diagnostic genius, comforting. Yeah, actually, you're the one. Uh, the rest is not. Yeah, actually, Kate, you can you can come and work for us. Uh, unfortunately, it's like the end of the day, but hopefully, Kate can still treat one or two patients. Where is this doctor? But yeah, I would like to get some additional nurses in here. I'll see about that. I'll see about that. What if this patient is collapsing? Let's see. Uh, hypovolemic shock. Blood transfusion is underway. Uh, let's see. What else is uh, is probably wrong here? Pancreas laceration we're aware of. And the surgery has been done. So it's probably something like sepsis, right? We've already figured everything out. This is an after-school special here. After... Uh, after, uh, after the fact issue. So maybe the blood transfusion will help with it. I'm hoping. Uh, we're up at 85 patients for the day. How's this one going? Nine more minutes left on that. Let's see. There's still three that needs to be treated. Plus a couple that's not been actually diagnosed. Can we finish off diagnostics over here, please? This is just crazy. Can we figure this out, please? That would be really helpful if we can. Same thing over here. We still haven't been able to figure it out, but you've got a few tests underway, which I am hoping will sort us out. What I'm trying to figure out also, wow, critical workload was pretty, pretty high. Let's quickly have a look at that. Um, let's close this out and let's have a quick look through critical workload. So, yes, critical workload in emergency, I'm pretty sure that's doctor's offices. Radiology is still a problem. The rest seems to be okay. Can we... We sent someone straight to... Um, I think we sent you straight to hospitalization. No, we did not. I don't know. I can't remember. Anyway, some of you are being treated, some are not. Are you being treated though? You're not being treated. Ox uh, regular hospitalization, oxygen therapy, please. Um, anything else that we need to treat? That's been, that's been put there. You've got a flashing symptom though. So what is your flashing symptom going to be? It's likely going to be a regular heartbeat. So, but ECG didn't pick it up. See this thing, this obstructed airways thing, COPD, um, has been causing some flashing symptoms that I'm not that that isn't actually show up here and that ECG isn't picking up So that's that's uh, causing me to worry a little bit. So let's just quickly have a look who else had COPD Patricia is now an intensive care unit um, did we figure out what your other problems was? Um, this this thing but uh, oxygen therapy should should be able to help you Okay, so I think that's okay. Maybe as soon as we get you treated, that should be fine. Because Linda is going to collapse if we don't get her um, onto some, some oxygen therapy as soon as we can. I've already stated, can we, can, does this mean you wait for what now? Do you wait for the doctor to tell you that? Can I, can I take control and I just tell you to do that? Patient is collapsing, respiratory failure over here. This is not good. This is really not good. So we're going to need to put you on a ventilator. Uh, but we can't do that. So we'll need to TC hospitalize you or ICU. Uh, probably ICU then. Get you into ICU and we'll get you onto a ventilator as quickly as we can. 
Please get, let's get you to ICU. And then we get you onto a ventilator and hopefully we can find the other stuff here. You've got issues where you probably need um, us to put you on oxygen therapy as soon as possible also. What is the uh, treatment for this? Anticoagulants. So let's get, okay, that is, is be, you are being treated for that. Okay, good. Hopefully we'll get you to survive. Um, that's okay. We've got you there. This is scheduled procedures have finished. Okay, we figured it out and I believe we are treating you now. Okay, great stuff. That is good. So you, you should be okay. This thing isn't flashing anymore. So whatever we've got you on here is probably good enough for now. Hopefully that treatment is going to work for you. Okay, we need to figure out, James, do we have you, have we still not figured it out for you over here? And we're not actually doing any treatments here. We need to pick some of these things for you. So let's uh, let's do an ECG, a thorax percussion, and a, well, everything we can basically do. Waiting to, for transport to bed. I'll have a look at that right now. Maybe there's no beds available. You still are waiting some of these tests to come out. Um, and then we need to start treating you also. But I'm worried about this time here. Um, okay, let's, let's go back. James, we can try and deal with you, right? You're the one with the problems. Where are you at at the moment? You're still over here. Oh, transported your room. That's the issue. That's the issue. Are you waiting for a room that you don't have? Um, HDU hospitalization in internal medicine. Let's just have a little quick look at that. No, there are the rooms are available. Maybe, however, we don't have nurses that can actually come and get you. That could be a problem. Right, let's quickly have a look. Nurses, maybe free nurses is not a thing that we have over here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly... Oh, I don't have any money. So there's no point in me trying to, to figure that out. A nurse will be by soon, James. Thank you. Here you go. Thank you. Hopefully, if we get you upstairs... I'm um, in HDU here... We can start putting you on treatment so that you won't collapse. But we do really need to figure out what's wrong with you. And I'm kind of, uh, what do we do? What do we do? We're going to run a few more tests, but it is, it is a problem for us. It certainly is a problem. Waiting for a free examination room. This one over here. So where's my doctor? Come on, doctors. Transportation to examination room. Please go and get James. Can someone please go and get James. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I know I need more nurses. I do. Get James over there. Thank you. Treat the, run him around. Excellent doctor is waiting. Oh, 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 where's James on? Where is James? Oh, where are you going? Oh, ECG. That's going to be upstairs or downstairs or something. Please find a symptom. Please, 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 please find a symptom. Do it, do it quickly. Get that ECG done, find a symptom. The time check, uh, if there is time, check the budget to see what departments are running you into the negative. Um, they've generally all been pretty good. So ECG has not given me anything new here. So that's really, really problematic. Please come and fetch him. Um, okay, we can have a quick look at the budget. So if we look at yesterday, uh, we can see that most of our departments run pretty decent. Obviously, stuff like ICU is not cost effective. Um, X-ray department costs us a lot of money. But the big money makers, on the other hand, are general surgery. And really, that's about it. Yeah, I'm a little worried, actually. Some of these other ones should be making us more money. What is costing us this much money? Oh, we've done it. We've actually done the event. We've got an extra 20K, which is brilliant. Excellent. I'm so glad we actually figured that out. That's awesome. And we've done that. That's a step in the right direction over there. We've cleared the day, but unfortunately, we didn't actually treat the 90, um, the 100 patients. So that's unfortunate. We were pretty close. Maybe today, even with the extra ones, we didn't get there, which is, uh, which is, which is, yeah, I don't know. 
It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough to get there. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching Project Hospital. That has been awesome. Uh, today has gone much, much better than the last stream. So I'm happy that we've kind of stabilized the hospital. There's still plenty of improvements that we need to make. And we will continue this in the next stream as well. So give me a, I'm going to take a quick five minutes break and I'll be back with... Um, with uh, academia so we can start a brand a school we'll build a school and see how that goes